So we now have boiling. I've got the water boiling in my steam producer. And you can see there's steam coming out. What I'm gonna do is attach that tube to this end right here. What I've done is put a thermometer into this outlet and it's touching the rod. I have the copper rod right in there right now. now I'm gonna show you how I will adjust the rod. Uh, right now what I've done is I've tightened this. I put the copper rod in and, and there's a stopper at both ends. You can see the copper rod, uh, I guess you can't, but you can see the screw. There's a screw that's touching the copper rod on this end and there's a little lever on this end that's free to move. And you can see the copper rod sticking out of that end for sure. So when the copper rod expands, it's gonna push on this and this little lever arm will go up. And that's exactly what this is. This is a lever system. If, um, this is a set screw. If I move this screw in, you can see I'm moving the copper rod up and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it to the initial spot. Usually I don't set it right to zero, but it's close, it's close to that. I'll probably put it at one or two. I usually like to put it a little bit above. And then what I'm gonna do, see it move up? I can move it, I can set it to what I want initially. Then once I set it, and I, I, I'll give you the reading in a, a few minutes because it's kind of hard. I am going to, take the set screw and lock that position in place. So now the rod cannot move that way. It can only move that way. It can only move to the right, which means this will go up. So what is the reading on this? Excuse me while I look at it. Two, four, six. Okay, it's two. It's a little more than two. I would say um, it's 2.2. So what you wanna write down is your initial beginning length is 2.2 times 10 to the minus fourth. So what I'm gonna do now, oh, and I'm sorry, the initial temperature is, you gotta write down the initial temperature too. So I've got, it's a thermocouple. I'm gonna put it right inside of this and I can feel it touching the rod. My thermometer just turned off. 18.9. 18.9 is the initial temperature. So I'm going to set, set my iPad up over here, and they're going to see me attach the steam, and then we're going to wait. So TI is 18.9. It's a little chilly in here because it's Christmas. I mean, not Christmas, but... Uh, so I'm going to very carefully move this steam generator around so my tube is at the right spot. And I've got a bunch of hot plates. You have to be very careful about this because there's steam coming out. And steam burns are not something you want. So what you have to do is take the tube and try to get it on here. There. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is take the iPad over and we're gonna watch the temperature go up. All right, it hasn't gone up yet. It'll take a little bit of time. And what I've done is I've put the steam in through. Now the steam is actually coming out this end but it should be going throughout the whole jacket. Okay. And actually it was a little bit of a time delay, but now you can see it's coming out. Now what'll happen is when we see steam coming out this end and it's close to 100 degrees, we know we're at the final amount. Now while we're doing that, I'm gonna show you what happens. It's moved up. This initially was at two, and it's moved all the way up to close to nine. I'm gonna take another reading at the end, but it, the, the lever moved up because the thing, the, oh, now it's, the steam is coming out, sorry. Final temperature, 100.2. Final temperature, 100.2.
So what I'm going to do now is take, that's Celsius, uh, I'm going to just kind of look down and take the last reading. I have to do this with my eyes because it's kind of hard to do it on the iPad. Uh, all right, it is 9.5. 9.5 times 10 to the negative 4. And initially it was 2.2 times 10 to the minus 4. Now you can go and calculate the coefficient of expansion. 